it can cause you to go into panic. Totally agree. It has to do with receptivity. You know, uh, your ability to process what's being heard. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't make preparations for the reception of a word, then, I, you know, it can be a, a, a surplus in the house. It can be a, a, a large amount of a particular uh, grace on the house. But because you didn't do anything with your ground, you know, it allowed you to, or it caused you to have a lack of receptivity or response to what's being said. You know, even though the release is great, it's according to one's reception. You know, and that's, that's exactly what Jesus came. He told them over and over. If you knew who I was, if you knew who I was, they had a very low re, uh, receptivity because of the Pharisaical, the Sanhedrin system that was in place. And I know that a lot of times, because of religion, it dulls your hearing, it dulls your 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 your, 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 uh, your antennas. And I told you about the two antennas that we have. The two antennas is my heart and my thinking. And that's the things that I can kind of connect them so I can hear the frequency that God wants to bring on the kingdom level. If I'm relying on one of them, then I'm, you know, eventually uh, substitute the kingdom for church. You know, and that's what true repentance is. When you really get into the kingdom, it changes those dynamics, the way you hear and the way the motivations of the heart. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And so that's, that's very important. Uh, anybody know the difference between a famine and a drought? There's a difference. Drought is no water. One's water, one is food. Say that louder. Famine is food and drought is water. Drought and water, food and water. Do you guys understand that? One you have control over, one you don't. You're responsible for your garden. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what we plant. But then when you start, if you plant right and the conditions are right, then there's no drought. You get what I'm saying? It's the, that's a release from heaven. Huh? Spirit. That's spirit. But it's still, we're, we're called to be farmers. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to be able to, famine is the condition of the soil. You know what I'm saying? And, and, when, and, and a, uh, you can have a drought, and you can have a drought and never have a famine. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's all in scriptures. I can take them over there and show them exactly. Joseph, we talked about over there. So if we want to be able to uh, have have no famine. I mean, yeah, have no famine in our life. We want to be able to whatever is sown. You know what I'm saying? That's what a famine. Whatever is sown, mm -hmm. it's important for us to bring the proper uh, increment, increase of what was sown, and the increment of the kingdom of 30, 60, and 100. I'd rather you be a hundredfold 30 than a 3400. You know. And, and cons consumption don't determine your growth. Right. You can be hungry for the things of God. You can desire the things of God. I'm not intrigued with somebody's consumption. I'm intrigued with your productivity. Because if you got a, your volume is high in consumption and you got a low level yield, then it's no benefit for us. Because you're gonna enter a famine sooner or later. You understand what I just said? Cause we got churches that got a lot of word. We got preachers that got a lot of word. Include me, I could be guilty because of my word level, but I got to make sure that I'm in sync. You know, so that not only what I plant, but what I produce is equal. Remember, because he told him in uh, Haggai, he said, you know what, you plant a lot, but don't receive nothing. You know, and I don't, I don't want to be able, I want to make sure that, that incrementally that I'm, I'm balanced. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So if you read for three hours and four hours, you better look for a release. And you can tell when your consumption is accurate is because of what you're willing to give out. You spend more time studying. You spend more time seeking God. You spend more time in worship, but don't look for an opportunity to evangelize. That was for somebody. I just felt that in my spirit real strong. I hope you can hear it. I had to probably go back to it myself and go over and dissect what I just said. <laughs> but I know spiritually it's correct. Because I'm listening to the Spirit of God. And He's giving me those, those words. Therefore, it's very important. You got something to say before we move on? All right. Point number five. We're talking about the wild, wild vine. The wild vine. 
What did we say? We established a couple of points, principles. The wild thing is what? 